Hi, Cancer. So, Cancer. We talked about divine timing and being patient and getting things um, when we're supposed to, you know? And I know that it's been really, really, really tough to just stay calm during this time. Um, and the planets aren't really helping a lot because, you know, we're all kind of going through like that very up and down some days I want to sleep, some days I'm wide awake, not really sure what's going on. Right now, in February, as we're shifting into your into um, a fellow water sign in Pisces, there are going to be some very tricky squares with planets, very tricky conjunctions with planets. Um, Mercury is going to be moving into Pisces on the same day that Mars and Neptune square off. Mars right now is in Sagittarius. Neptune is in Pisces. Neptune is um, direct in Pisces. Neptune is the daydreamer, right? And Mars is very action-oriented. When they square off, um, we start to question everything that everybody's saying. And because Mercury, the sign of commun or the planet of communication, um, likes to have facts straight, <clears throat> when it goes into Pisces, it's very wishy-washy because we're all very daydreamy in Pisces, right? So it's going to be really, really hard to decipher on whether what people are saying to you, like you're going to feel like every single thing that's coming at you is like not real. Kind of like a unicorn being taken up into a spaceship. How's that possible? How is it not possible? And it's so funny because I've always often said, because Pisces is the opposite of Virgo, right? And why am I talking about Pisces so much? Well, because they're a fellow water sign. And you guys brought this year in with a bang, with that beautiful full moon that we had. In January and now we have all sorts of things happening and moving into a fellow water sign who so now they're kind of taking over so it's like you guys are passing the baton and Aquarius was right there in the middle you know like Leo took over the full solar eclipse and now Aquarius has mercury in it and so all the communication is going and now we're getting back into a water sign and things are happening in a water sign and then right after Pisces, we're going to have another full moon in Virgo. Like, what's going on, right? Because we have that new moon in Aquarius and just so many things are going on. So this is why I'm talking about Pisces. Virgo is the opposite of Pisces. Pisces is um, the daydreamer, right? So they're the imaginative people. They're the ones that come up with all right, well, let's have a unicorn that's riding on a rainbow that's going up into a spaceship. And then Virgo says, oh, well, that sounds really, really cool. Let's make it a little bit more realistic and make it like a racehorse that's winning a race. And, and it, you know, ends up with a wreath around its neck at the end. And it's a, like an actual real person that's riding it instead of an alien taking it away, right? So what Pisces does that is very watery and emotional and daydreamy, Virgo makes real. And Cancers are extremely good at making, at doing the same things that Virgo, Virgo, Virgos do, except they make it real within the emotional realm, if that makes sense. How do I put that a different way? <clears throat> so Pisces wants to have a unicorn riding on a rainbow with an ice cream cone or whatever. Um, Cancer is going to say, let's make that a racehorse, but we're going to make it um, a very emotional, uh, it's like the Kentucky Derby, you know, we make it very emotionally charged and um, it's exciting and significant and, you know, I mean, like forward movement. Let's go. It's like the chariot, right? Forward movement, excitement, change. 
And that's why you guys are so ready to go. You are the chariot right now. You want to be the chariot. So why am I telling you all of this for, for the first five minutes? Well, because this shift where you think that everything is going to be up in the air and like I'm not so sure. The thing is, is you guys could easily, easily, easily get around all of this and watch everybody else in confusion while you just make shit happen. And you're saying to me right now, like, no, I don't really feel that. I'm not feeling it. You're feeling it, but you don't think it's going to happen. There is a very good chance this month that you could have all of your wishes come true if you just believe in it. Here is that confusion of Neptune in Pisces and Mars squared off, the Seven of Cups. This is that confusion of Mercury in Pisces, the Seven of Cups. And this is, we have the Page of Wands, Ace of Swords, King of Wands, Seven of Wands, Six of Swords. Um, I feel like what I need to tell you right now is if there are things that need to be communicated, let's try and do that before the 17th of February. Because after the 17th of February, you want to be able to daydream and you want to be able to do it in a way where you're not questioning every little aspect of that emotional part of you. And because the Page of Wands to me is that active listening card. This is making things happen because you're looking at all of the details that are around you. And you're working through that. And if you stay defensive and guarded in it, then you're going to want to run away. Six of Swords, Seven of Wands. So this King of Wands is where all of the confusion has been. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And I feel like there's going to be communication where um, you're going to say, I want more. I want more out of my life. I want more out of the situation. I want more. And that's what this is here. So that's why I'm saying let's do the communication before February 17th because it could be really shocking what happens. And, and I mean shocking in a good way because in your thoughts, in your mind, it's the Ten of Swords, right? But in reality, this right here is Neptune Mars and Neptune squared off with Mercury and Pisces. Ten of Swords is Mars, Neptune squared off, Mercury and Pisces. Confusion. Confusion. Except the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, Justice, the Star, and the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. That is reality. That is what's real. And you're not going to be able to see it through the fog. So whatever conversation that you have to have with the King of Wands that needs to become clear so there isn't a Ten of Swords confusion state, have that because then once we get into... We start in March. On March 1st, we have the full moon in Virgo. And that's when we get mind, body, and spirit connected. So you're going to want to get past all of this confusion, all of that like super forward movement, like I really, 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 really need to get there, right? 
and lines are going to be blurred. And you, man, can you hear the wind out there? Talk about like, I mean, that's some serious business. It is windy. Um, you want to be able to move past all of that rough business. You want to be able to move past this tower moment, which isn't like this tower moment isn't a bad thing. It's just something that really needs to happen because you, this is, it's been building like this energetic build that's been like coming and coming and coming and coming. And that's what you guys have been feeling all through February. That's that push that you guys have been really like been wanting to go forward. Well, now it's, it's going to happen now and it's time to have that conversation. It's time to have that kind of communication. You need to do it while, while Mercury is still in Aquarius. So the lines aren't blurred. Because that's because then the fog settles in. The fog comes in. And you don't want to think that it's going to be like total devastation, right? If you have the conversation while Mercury is in Pisces, if you have the conversation when people are going to think that um, everybody is being deceitful and dishonest, if that's when you decide to have the conversation, there will not be balance. So if, so as you're really guarded against this King of Wands right now, I feel like you need to like drop that guard, have that conversation, find a little balance and healing, you know, could be with a Libra or Aquarius too. It doesn't have to be a King of Wands. You could be the King of Wands. You could be taking that personality on and really moving forward and pushing forward and what you need to do to get this stability because the reality of the situation is the lines aren't blurred. You know what has to be said. You know what this tower is. You know what direction you want to go in for love. And you've been fighting for it, right? Eight of Wands, King of Cups, or Knight of Cups. And I feel like that the Knight of Cups is you. Like, you're the one that wants to push forward. You're the one, you know, you're the one that wants to offer affection to somebody. Could be to a King of Wands. Could be to a Libra. Could be to an Aquarius. Could be to a Scorpio with the Tower. Or you could just know that the direction that you want to go is headed towards stability. So my advice to you, take it or leave it. A lot of people don't like it when I give advice. I'm just saying to have that conversation. Don't, you know, because the Ten of Swords, it's in your thoughts. And this is the end of a cycle. A Ten is an end, right? So let instead of being at the Ten of Swords thinking that all is going to be lost when you have this tower moment conversation, know that it is actually sending you in a direction of stability that you've been fighting for. And it's just a brand new beginning for that, you know? And it looks to me like there might be a brand new beginning with an earth sign. King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Earth sign. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And it, so, Cancer, what I'm feeling here. Have the conversation before the lines are blurred in life. Because the planets are not going to make things easy at the end of February. And then, you know, we move into Pisces and the sun moves into Pisces where, you know, then the sun and Neptune are conjunct. I mean, it let's. Let's just be honest, it's going to be really, really hard to not be super emotional once we get into Pisces. So while we're still in Aquarius season, let's have the conversation. We have three tens here. There is a definite completion, a definite ending, and then a new beginning. You know, and it could be that you want to be the one that offers a king of pentacles, something very small. And you can't do that 
if you can't find the stability underneath the tower. And the only way to find the stability with the tower is if we let it fall. And you know what direction you want to go, what direction the healing is, what direction the balance is. And I feel like you've known for a while, and you've been fighting it. You've been very, very guarded. We have two very, very guarded cards here, right? Except, how do you know you can't win the battle if you don't fight the war? And I don't mean that it has to be a war. It's just a conversation, right? Leading into the Ten of Cups. So have a really, really great February, my dear Cancer friends. Um, it looks really good, and I think that most of you are going to choose to have that conversation before we get into Pisces season. So um, I love you guys so much. Um, Instant Go app, if you would like to have a personal reading, download the Instant Go app. I did um, add the um, one question email reading to my website. Um, if you would like to check that out, fearlessintuition.net. Um, all of that information is below. The link to Instant Go is below. Also, all of the donations that, ki that continue to come in, thank you so much. I've decided that I'm not going to do any paid videos on YouTube or Vimeo or any of that. Um, so all of the readings that I'm going to produce on, t on YouTube, they will still be free. Um, so all of the donations that do come in, those go directly to being able to put time in to doing these videos. So thank you so much for that. And, um, it's so appreciated. So appreciated. Um, all of the information is below for my website. Uh, my email address is also below if you have any questions and, um, the instant go app is below as is the PayPal donation. Um, link is below. So have a wonderful February. I will see you guys in for your March readings. Bye.